<laughs> Today we'll be discussing 24 interesting facts about the movie Raya and the Last Dragon. This is Disney Animation Studios, first movie inspired by Southeast Asia. This is Humandra. The film was in production for more than 3 years. All right guys, remember what we're looking for and don't trust anyone. The movie shows floating market like the ones found all over Southeast Asia. This Linglingo shaped mountain is commonly found in pendants and ornaments in Vietnam and Philippines. This is the first Disney princess movie since 2016 when Moana was introduced to the world. What kind of a princess are you? Raya is the 13th Disney princess. Girl Raya and I are going to fix the world. Sisu the Last Dragon is voiced by Aquafina. By the way, unrelated fact, Aquafina is not her real name. My real name is Nora Lum. All right? That's a N O R A no H L U and then L M. Ah, I'm going to be real with you, all right? I'm not like the the best drag. Sisu in Filipino myths is the sea serpent dragon known as Bakunawa. Girl warriors. Gemma Chen voice Namari. Namari's combat style is inspired by Muay Thai. Amy Lawson was the head of animation for the movie, who is also the first female head of animation at Walt Disney Studios. This greeting is a take on the common greetings you will see in the entire Southeast Asia region, where you have clasped hands. The land of Talon was influenced by the floating markets and night markets in Laos, Thailand, or Indonesia. Tail, the desert land takes cues from the Mekong River that runs through Southeast Asia. The geometric architecture in the land of Phang is influenced by Cambodia's Angkor Wat. The land of Heart is full of water motifs like dragons. Because of people's deep respect for water dragons inspired by Naga, whenever you go to temples, you are going to see symbols of the Naga as a protector. The land of Spine has giant black bamboos. Bamboo is used for amazing craft in countries like Vietnam and the land of Spine is inspired by that. Raya, this isn't the world I want you to live in. Raya means celebration in Bahasa Melayu. Raya's fighting style is based on Filipino martial arts. Raya is seen wearing a Southeast Asian headgear called salakot. The base shape represents the earth and the curve upward represents water. Raya is also seen wearing the sabai top and the sampot pant, a traditional dress worn in Cambodia, Thailand and Laos. I must find Kiris, a type of double-edged sword with a wavy blade, is seen in the movie and is used by Moro warriors. <laughs> Kelly Mary Tran, who voices Raya, is of Vietnamese descent. <laughs> Raya's traveling companion, Tuk Tuk, is voiced by Alan Tudyk. Whoa. Focus, eyes forward, Tuk Tuk. Good boy. In Thailand, the local rickshaw is called Tuk Tuk. The entire movie was developed by a team spread across countless remote locations. The entire production team took a research trip to travel across the different Southeast Asian countries, which includes Cambodia, Laos, Indonesia, Thailand, and Vietnam. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video and if you would like to see more of such content, please subscribe to this channel and smash that like button.